Hi, it's just me, Chase. You probably know me, or don't, probably not, but you will, eventually, at some point, maybe in the future, maybe not right now. But, what we're doing today is that we're going to brew some coffee, but not just any type of coffee. You see, we only have two simple steps. Number one, you put the coffee grinds in here. Number two, coffee comes out. But, what if we add an extra step to it? What if we add different ingredients into the coffee grinds itself, or what happens if we just put something inside the coffee cup to make it brew into a very unique coffee? But today, we're going to be doing ramen. That's right. We're going to be putting the spice inside with the coffee grinds, and then we're going to put a block of noodles in the coffee, coffee pot in itself and see what happens. All right. First time, new moment, excited. One cup for <laughs> me. Ah, oh, it's really bitter. <clears throat> and one cup for my cameraman. Unless if he wants two. Do you want two cups? Okay, one cup, all right, cool. All right, there you go. So uh, we don't need that. So. How this thing is going to play out, and uh, God rest our soul if this doesn't work, or our stomach for that matter, is that we're going to be incorporating flavor packets. Alright, just making sure. Alright, God rest our soul. What do you think? One or two? Uh, I've thrown two. Two? Alright, we'll, we'll do two. There we go. Just to get that extra beef flavor in our coffee early in the morning or four in the afternoon, where we're at right now. Uh, do we have something to stir with? There we go. We'll use another measuring cup. Stir it in together. Gonna pop that in. Water. Spicy water. It's like a, a nice little fountain. Is this plugged in? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, base. Wrong one. Coffee works. It's been a while. We forgot you're supposed to break the ramen noodles. If you jiggle it a little bit, you can see that the bottom part's pretty okay. The top part, no, it's completely raw. It is. We may have to throw that one out. But the bottom part, as you can see, it's jiggling, so it's cooking. May not be perfect, but who wants some beef coffee? First one of the ages. Gotta save room for Tim. Did you want some noodles? <laughs> Ooh, this is a little soggy here. <laughs> like it's a little, it's like it's not perfect, but it's a little soggy. Um, Get the bottom part. <laughs> um, God, it smells so bad. You know, out of all the weird things I've ever eaten in my life, between marshmallows on pepperoni pizza and M&Ms on a meatball sub, this isn't too bad. Really? It's not great. I wouldn't make someone eat this. It's not bad. I can live with it. If you're a if 
you're a college student who just is in a rush and didn't eat anything, I, I recommend. It's not bad. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's better than sugar. I'm gonna taste this for myself here. Get a good chunk of it. Ooh, that was a nice, that was a nice pull and take. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what do you think, Chase? Oh, God. Very salty. <laughs> Holy cow, okay. I was expecting, like, bitter or something. No, this is just straight salty. No, the ramen's bitter. This, the coffee's salty. We swapped. What the hell? Well, there you go. If you want um, a very salty coffee, just add ramen in there. And if you want the bitterness of the, of the coffee, it'll be inside the ramen. Would you recommend this to someone? No. All right, cool. So we have a now official ruling. If we don't like it, we're just gonna dump it out. Do you have a garbage disposal in this one? No. We're not we'll going to dump out. this out, but we'll figure it out next time. On Dragon Ball Z.